right guys, we are going over question number two right now, which is related to acute renal failure. And in this question, it's going over the acid base level, which is basically whether the patient is acidic and alkaline, which are problems with a renal failure, especially acute renal failure. So I know you guys were asking for an ABG video before, so if you do wanna see an ABG video, then just give this video a thumbs up. This question is also asking if you can identify the signs of what it is like to be acidic. So, like I said, with NCLEX style questions, you're not just answering one question, you're answering multiple questions. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Question number two. During the endorsement or change of shift, the nurse mentioned that the pH level of the newly admitted client is 7.3. The incoming nurse checked the client's history and found that the client had acute renal failure. Which of the following signs and symptoms will the nurse assess based on the laboratory result. A, vasodilation, B, tachycardia, C, poor skin turgor, or D, rapid respirations. So in understanding how to answer this question, you have to first understand what ABG means. ABG stands for arterial blood gas, which is measuring whether your patient has a balanced pH state. This balance is important. Too much acidity, or too much base will cause major harm in the human body. The normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45, so you can see a reading of 7.3 is low. You will also see that this is only slightly low, but every number counts when you are considering the arterial blood gas. So you might ask why this patient is acidotic to begin with. In order to answer this question, remember that one of the main roles in the kidney, which is to filter the blood and remove waste products, in this case of renal failure though, this is not being done properly or at all. Therefore, the waste substances are building up in the body, causing your patient to be acidotic. Initial signs of acidosis can be changes in the level of consciousness, headache, restlessness, and a late sign of acidosis is cushional breathing, which are rapid, large tidal volume breaths because the lungs are trying to regulate carbon dioxide, making the correct answer option D, because clients with acidosis caused by acute renal failure may develop Cushmol respirations, which are rapid large breaths. The other answer options, vasodilation and tachycardia, are not associated with acidosis, and poor skin turgor is not a finding in acute ren renal failure. It is a finding in chronic renal failure making the best and final answer option D. All right guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this question going over acute renal failure. Like I mentioned before, stay tuned because we're editing videos right now. So as we finish the other questions, we're going to post them. We'll probably do a few more and then go on to the next topic. So if you want immediate updates, make sure you sign up for the email list and also subscribe to the channel because then you'll get notified right away. And again, if you have an exam coming up over this topic, Go ahead and go straight to the questions. There's about 28 questions on my website that you can find to help you get a real stronghold on the subject matter. All right, guys, I cannot wait to see you again soon. Love you, bye.